What's going on, everybody? This is Ryan A. Polk, and welcome to the wrap up. And had watched The Banker, which stars Anthony Mackie and Samuel Jackson, and it also features Nia Long and Nicholas Hout. And this is based on a true story, and it's set in the 1950s. And you and you find out about the first two African American investors in the United States which who are Bernard Garrett and Joe Morris. Bernard Garrett is played by Anthony Mackie. Joe Morris is played by Samuel Jackson. And you got Anthony Mackie's character who he's trying to make it in the real estate business, but is having a hard time because of the racism that is going on. And throughout this, he he meets Samuel Jackson's character who is a successful club owner and he convinces him to be his co-investor and also knowing that knowing that they were and knowing that they would have a hard time with this they they get they do they get a white guy Matt Steiner who is played by Nicholas Hout to pose as the face of their company to help facilitate in in sales when it comes to when it comes to meetings and they do become successful they become very successful in Los Angeles because because that is where they are conducting business. However, you got you got Mackie's character who wants to purchase a bank in his hometown in Texas, and you find out and then and then and then you find out the obstacles of what they are dealing with when trying to own this, you know. And this is this is yet another story that I have never heard of because I didn't know who the two who were the the first two African American investors you know I never I never heard of Bernard Garrett and Joe Morris and this is one of the best movies of the year and also one of the best movies I've ever seen because their story needs to be told and I'm happy that it was shown on the, that that their story was able to make it to the big screen I mean it had a limited release before streaming on Apple TV but overall their story is out there and now you know you know, if you didn't know who these two were, when you watch this movie, you are definitely you're you're definitely gonna know who they are. I mean, if you have seen the movie, of course you know who they are now. But yes, these these two these two were just dealing with so much, and you find out how hard it was for you know with for, with what they was dealing with during that time period, and even and I'm not a spoiler because that's not what I do, but you know you also you also find out you know what also happens you know throughout their success as well and you got Nia Long who plays who plays Mackie's wife in the movie and she is very supportive of them throughout the whole movie and that's that which brings me to you know the casting the casting was just incredible this was a very good choice of picks I mean, Anthony Mackie, I'm going to be honest, Anthony Mackie should get an Oscar nomination for this. This was one of the most powerful roles, probably the most powerful role I have ever seen him do. And you got Samuel Jackson, you know, of course, you know, he's, you know, he's a legend. So whatever he does, he's good at. And Nicholas Hout and Neil Long, they did, they did terrific jobs as well. Samuel Jackson should get an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. And... The banker, the, and like the banker was just so good, it was just so entertaining. I mean, I mean, it was a serious movie, but you know, it was also funny too, as well. You know, it knew when to be funny and also when to be serious. And I am happy that that like you know this movie, this movie did get made. And you know, if you're a fan of of bio movies, you know, I'm a I, I enjoy bio bio movies. I think you will enjoy this as well. There was nothing boring about this movie, and you find out. I mean, because I didn't really, I don't really know much about the real estate business and investing and all that. But you do find out. You 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 also do find out some more about that too as well when you watch this movie. You know, I had you know I kind of had learned something when it came to conducting business, went and investing in real estates and everything. And honestly, it was also hard for me to just to even just what to what to get this movie out of five stars and what to grade it because it was that entertaining and that good and the banker the, i mean like the banker if you do have apple tv because normally i would because if it was in theaters 
you know, I would, you know, this is normally when I say that, you know, should you go see a waiver go to Redbox, but you know, we got this, we got this whole, this whole virus pandemic, this whole coronavirus pandemic going right now, so, you know, and, and then also, you know, the movie, I mean, the movie's on Apple TV now anyway, so, I mean, if you have Apple TV, I do recommend that you go check it out, and, and for the banker's grade, I give it an, an A, and out of five stars, I give it four and a half out of five stars. The banker is just so good. It is it, it is it is very inspiring, and it is something that that I do think that you know it. I won't even be you know. I honestly also think that think that you know it should get nominated for best picture too as well at the Oscars. And yeah, so if you haven't watched the banker yet. Go check it out. And until then, this is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap-up signing off.